Turbo by Sega was first released in 1981. This is a game I've always wanted to cover. I remember watching this back in the early 80s at some amusement center in Blackpool, UK. I was amazed at how things seemed to move towards the screen. It looked odd, yet somehow very compelling. Years later as a teenager, I always tried to remember what this game was. All I could remember was that it was an arcade game by Sega. Back then I kept thinking it was some form of Monaco GP. It wasn't until my late teens that I find out it was Turbo. Turbo requires the player to navigate a road race through different urban and rural locations, through differing weather conditions and during changing times of day. In order to proceed, the player must pass and stay ahead of at least 30 completing cars before the time expires. Some opponents drive predictably while others swerve across the road suddenly. In the first round, the player has unlimited lives. Collision with the other vehicles will return the player's car to the bottom of the current screen. In following rounds, the player is limited to two lives and awarded an additional life for each completed round. In addition to competing races, an ambulance occasionally comes along from behind and overtakes the player. They must be avoided as contact with them will cause the player to lose a life. Turbo was designed and coded by Steve Hanawa. In an interview, Hanawa stated that despite its historical significance, he considered the process of creating it to have been his worst development experience at Sega. Development of Turbo required such difficult scheduling of coding and debugging that he was hospitalized for a month following its completion due to stress, exhaustion and spontaneously collapsed lung. Thankfully he recovered and will always be remembered by me as the guy who created something that mesmerized me as a child. Oh and yes, I am cheating in parts of this footage just so you get to see some of the early cool scaling effects. The first part we're taking a look at is for the ColecoVision. This one features quite unique and, well, rather stupid controls. The gear change is done by pushing up or down on the second controller, while the first controller is used to accelerate and brake using the A and B buttons. The thing is, the Coleco controller has a bloody phone dialer on it. Why couldn't they use the number buttons to change gear? At least they made use of the disc. Spitting that is what actually moves the car on screen. It's a novel idea that works reasonably well. This port does a reasonable job at recreating the arcade game. Many of the areas are here and easily recognizable. It's not a bad port, although the cars ramming you while you try to speed up is annoying. Next we have the Intellivision port, which was by Coleco. So uh, yeah, I doubt Coleco are going to put much effort into making a game for their rival system. Now while the Intellivision is a weaker system to the ColecoVision, it can do better than this. To me the game looks more like a battle of coloured frogs than Formula 1 cars. Gameplay wise, it's the same as the ColecoVision, but now we don't use a second controller to change gears.
Once shown at the 1983 CES, Turbo is one of those prototypes that everyone was sure existed. Thankfully all this changed when a former Atari 2600 programmer, Anthony Henderson, happened to stumble across his long lost copy of Turbo while searching his attic. According to the programmer, Coleco originally wanted the game to use paddle controllers in order to better simulate the steering wheel. However, reading the inputs from the paddle controllers takes up considerably more clock cycles than regular joysticks, and there was not enough time to animate the road edges. Thankfully the decision to use the joysticks was made allowing for animated road edges. There are other missing features though, such as the ambulance, water puddles and the enemy car AI, it's more basic. Dodging oncoming cars in this version is more a matter of luck than skill. And let's take a look at all those versions of Turbo, even though there's only four of them, running side by side. 